I was making a smoothie this morning, and I forgot to put the lid on. I quickly turned the power off, which got me wondering, how does electricity make the motor run? To understand this, I need to describe the force in a magnetic field, and identify what the force is affected by. It all starts with a current flowing through a wire. Electric currents produce magnetic fields, so this current produces a magnetic field in a circular pattern around the wire. If you place the wire in the magnetic field of a permanent magnet, the magnetic fields combine to produce a force on the wire. The direction of the force is always at right angles to the wire and the magnetic field lines. Forces produced in magnetic fields can be used to make things move. In this case, the wire experiences a force in a forward direction, which causes the wire to move forwards. This is known as the motor effect. The size of the force can be increased by increasing the strength of the magnetic field and by increasing the size of the current. The force is strongest when the wire is at right angles to the magnetic field lines of the magnet. The force decreases if the wire is rotated so that it is no longer at right angles to the magnetic field. And there is no force at all if the current is flowing parallel to the magnetic field. An electric motor is designed to make use of the motor effect. This simple motor consists of a rectangular coil of wire in a magnetic field. When a current flows through the coil, the forces act on each side of the coil, making it spin. The speed of an electric motor can be controlled by changing the current in the coil. So now I know that a current carrying wire in a magnetic field experiences a force, that the force depends on the strength of the magnetic field and the current, and that the force decreases to zero if the wire is parallel to the magnetic field. Now to try making another smoothie.